previously on Under the Milky Way. They can't close this place down. The place is a bloody institution. It's progress, darling. Siding Spring is just too old, too run down. Two words, Eileen. Australian Idol winner. That's three words. Australian Idol winner. I'm Mike. I'm the Vice President of Development for the new Red Skies Observatory. Yeah, well, you can bugger off now, pretty boy. He is pretty, isn't he? Siding Spring is Coonabarabran, right? Why, well, yes, it is. So why does nobody care? I don't think anyone knows who. Well, you need someone who knows how to work a crowd, you know? Like, get people really excited. What is it? I need Damien Leaf. We're closing down Siding Spring. Why? Why are we doing that again? Keep the people of this town busy and we'll be fine. Okay? Yeah, okay. Didn't know you were a Damien Leaf fan. No, my pop was Irish, so you got to support the team. Don't want to end up supporting the wrong team, though, do you? Has anyone seen Damien Leaf? What the bloody hell is Damien fucking Leaf? Bumped into an old friend and, uh, and she told me all about this... Um, historic observatory that's just a couple of kilometres away. But it, it, it's beautiful, it's important, and they're trying to shut it down. Can you believe that? Begin. Just like the moon, and I'm like the sun, and my rise has just begun. Well, it's, it's really exciting, actually. Um, this afternoon at the Workers' Club, we've got the inaugural Kuna Speed Dating event. Mm -hmm. Old school, actually meeting people IRL. IRL? Yeah, in real life. Oh, yeah, right. Now, nah, look, we just thought it'd be a great way to, to get the community together. Mm, in more ways than one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but why would anyone want to go to a speed dating night when uh, everyone these days is using dating apps? Have you ever heard of Swapsy, Mayor Barnum? Swapsy? Yeah, it's like Tinder, except you swipe only to the right. With Swapsy, you're pretty much guaranteed a good time. Yeah. <laughs> look, look I, I think folks are really sick of that sort of stuff. Look, I bet you lunch at Doreen's that the people of Coonabarabran don't use Swapsy. <coughs> Come on, we're a great community here. We don't need that big city stuff to meet other people. We get together on a regular basis and we socialise, you know, in person. Oh, darling, love. Sounds like you need to get with the times. What? All right, well, everyone, make sure you get down to the Workers' Club de Savo. It's going to be huge. And uh, once you've done that, make sure you head down to Glenn's Nursery right next door. He's got 50% off azaleas, and they're running out the door.
What now, Steve? Swapsy. I've clocked it again. I don't even know what that means. It means I've swiped through everyone in town. Right. Did you know there's four women named Stephanie in this place? Not one of them a looker. You know, we've got to stop doing this. Doing what? Ever talking to each other, ever again. Well, maybe you could just try another website. Try them all. OkCupid, okay, eHarmony, Blender, Frienda, Grinder. That last one actually I had a little bit of success with that, but the others, just nothing. Okay, well, I'll just have to take your word for yeah, it. Yeah, you will take my word that. for it. Why would I? Why would I do something? It's really hard to find fresh meat in this town, you know? Only three and a half thousand people. Half of those people are dudes. It's like trying to find a needle in a, like a, like a really small haystack, where there's only three and a half thousand bits of hay. And half of those bits of hay, they're dudes. Well, it gets worse. Yeah. My mum uses that app. Oh yeah, swaps here. Mm. Cool. God only knows the kind of creep she must meet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't even know where to, whatever, about that. Hey. Hey, what's up? <gasps> You still haven't shaken that cough, Harry. Oh, this is nothing. I'm over the worst of it. It all starts with a cough, Harry. One of these days, I'm gonna come up there and knock your block off. You don't know I've got two idiots up here I could be talking to, right? Sorry. I had a bit of a breakthrough yesterday. Of course, none of my colleagues were too excited by it. They will be, though. As soon as I make my presentation... Sorry, I've never gotten around to looking at that stuff for you. That's okay. I know you'll get to it. I can take a look, Haz. Sorry, Simon. I need a scientist, not a projectionist. Ouch. Hey, I'm not just a projectionist. Uh, uh, there are a lot of function settings on those things. There's a play button. There's a pause button. You know, button. Harry, Simon probably could have a look. So I saw from Steve's... Facebook, that there's a big speed dating event on there tonight. Are you going, Hell? No. And why not? I'm sure it'll be a real hunk fest. Well, Steve's going. Well, I've got more important things to worry about. But what about the hunks? Stop it. I was a bit of a ladies' man before I met Sally. Oh, to go on, Harry. I was in a band once. We, uh, we did covers mainly, although we had a few originals. No way! Yes, way! We had a top 20 hit on the Tasmanian charts in 1973. Tasmania has its own music charts? Simon. It might come as a surprise to you, Simon, but I did all right for myself once upon a time. I bet I could still give you a run for your money. I reckon you could, Harry. So, like you could talk. What's that supposed to mean? Well, they're not exactly lining up at your door, are they, Hell? Uh, how would you know? There was this one time. I'd just come off stage. Oh, all I mean is there mustn't be much for you to choose from up there. Again? How would you know? And wouldn't you know it? There was two members of the Scott Triplets. I'm sure Coonabarra Brand is great and all, but you know, I live in Melbourne. It's a real city with people and stuff. Well, they weren't really triplets, of course. They just kind of looked the same. Why don't you go? I'm sure there'll be a farmer or an arborist. Uh, hardly your type, but uh, dare say they'd be up for a bit of fun. Oh, so now you know my type as well. So anyways, Betty says to me, or was it Francine? God, I always get their names mixed up. They look so similar, you see. Oh, look, I'm just saying, you hardly farmer wants a wife material, are you? So she told me that they'd really enjoyed my show and... I don't like what you're implying, mate. Well, not that I was one to kiss and tell, but... <laughs> just joking. I don't think you are. According to this urban dictionary your generation speak of, me and two members of the Scott Triplets had what is referred to as a mangle. No, that's it. I've decided I'm going to go speed dating. Y you don't have to do that. I was just joking. It was quite the night. 
I'm going. Too late. Going away. Speed dating. And I'm pretty sure a mangle is three men lying in a triangle, Harry. I thought that was a French sandwich. Damn it, Harry. Do we have to draw you a diagram? I'm going. I've got a date. Dates to get ready for, or whatever. Oh, I see. A man triangle. Speed dating, we're heading to, the, heading to the speed dating. Amazing. Have fun. We will. <laughs> we most definitely will. Hi, you must be Helly. Hey. Welcome to Sliding Spring. Thanks for having me. Oh, are you the one who's writing the thesis about the big old telescope thing we got? The, the sky method. Oh, yeah. Oh, rad. The one Bill hasn't serviced yet. Haven't started yet, actually, Hell. Sorry. I've read some of your summaries. You've got some really good ideas. I guess, thanks. So are you guys really going speed dating? Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> cool. I saw that on television once, but I thought that only... Hot people do it, correct. <laughs> thought that only people on television did it. Not going like that, eh, hell? Yeah? Why? You're cool. Uh, will you be all right with this one until I get back? <laughs> I'll only be a couple of hours, I promise. Our rooms are just over this way. I'm in number two, just for just for future reference. Steve, you'll be waist deep in number two if you don't leave her alone. I'll be fine. Um, Bill started telling me about the four times he's been bitten by a scorpion, um, and I'm only up to the third time, so don't worry about me. I promise I won't be long, really. We can catch up when I get back. Great. Don't wait up for me. OK. OK, Steve, come on. Come have a look at this. Suddenly found myself face to face with this scorpion. God, the bloody thing was huge. It was built like a sausage roll, except with claws and had a, a stinger on it, Party like sized? a tongue trunk drill Hey? Party sized? What? The sausage roll. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be telling the story if it wasn't party sized. Oh, Guess not. That's made me a bit peckish, actually. What's this one? Uh, that's the Anglo Australian telescope. This one here is the UK Schmidt, and in the scallop shell is the Forks. Oh, and where we parked is the pride of Coonabarabran, the sky mapper, founded in... 2009 and was the first new optical research grade telescope to be built in Australia since 1984. Yeah, spot on. I know my stuff. <laughs> What's this over here? That, that's the portal decommissioned in 1994. Why'd they shut that down? It was full. Call me David Cockerfield for nothing, hell. Who's they? His name. You already know my name. No need to get your knickers in a twist. I have to ask everyone. But you know everyone's name in this town, surely. Yeah, but some people prefer to use an alias. It creates the illusion of mystery. Well, uh, everyone knows me here, so just put me down as Helene. Okay. Name. David Cockerfield. It's Steve. You know, you guys can't come as a couple. It's singles only. Oh, no, no, no. We are definitely not a couple. 
yet. Darling, you made it after all. All hope's not lost. Hi, Mum. Whoa, there's a few spunks here today, isn't there? Yeah, I'm finding it difficult to control myself. Hello, Stephen. Hi, Mrs. McKenzie. Um, all right, folks, uh, we're going to start in about 10 minutes. So uh, grab a table. Uh, ladies on the inside, fellas on the outside. All right. All right. Have fun, Mum. Don't worry about me, love. I know what I'm doing. She's great, your mum. Like, real great. She has her moments. <sighs> Big time. Best of luck to you all. I hope you all find that special someone here today. <laughs> oh, you're here. I uh, didn't think you were coming. Well, I changed my mind. Well, you are looking a million bucks. I don't know about that. Get off the microphone! Well, I can't speak for the other gentlemen in the room today, but you would be my number one draft pick. Daryl, get off the bloody mic! I think you should put the microphone down, Daryl. Your second pick would be hard. Um, maybe Therese? You've always liked Doreen! What? That's true. Um, where are you, Doreen? <laughs> Your chicken schnitzel sandwiches are amazing. Number two draft pick, easily. It's not too bad. Oh, bugger it. Um, look, the first annual Kuna Barra Brand speed dating event has officially started. So, what are you interested in? Apart from, you know, what's up there. I mean, space, not heaven or tiling. <laughs> it's kind of sad to admit this, but I don't really have much time for anything else. <laughs> Guess that's why I'm here. All work and no play. You know how it goes. Not really. <laughs> I'm kidding, oh. of, course, of course I know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> Got me. Um, so, what are you into? Have you ever heard of the term Brony? No, I don't think I have. Uh, sorry, Hal, I'm not sure about this guy. Listen, sorry, Pete. Hey, 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 come on, Steve. You can't just come in here and interrupt the date. That's not how speed dating works. I mean, there are rules in place and you're breaking all of them. Sorry, Pete. Yeah, mind your own business, Steve. Thank you. Anyways, the, the term brony refers to a collective group of people who, who are really into the My Little Pony franchise. I actually founded the local club. Did you? Oh yes. Yeah, we're called uh, the My Little Coonabarra Bronies. Are you? Yeah, before I scare you off, I mean, we're not one of those weird fetish sort of groups. We're not weird at all. We're not. You know, I, I have zero interest in Twilight Sparkle whatsoever. That's great. Sexually. Hi, Steve. Oh, uh, hey, Kathy. I haven't seen you for a while. I, I haven't seen you for a while. It's just... After last time, I thought we had something. We, yeah, we did. We, we did. We did? Yeah. Uh, it's just that... It's just what? It's just, you know, she was always there. I knew it. I knew you hated her. You broke up with my sister because you hate me, Steve. No, Sally, I don't hate you. It was nice having you around. You know, there was always someone to talk to. We never should have come. It was just like all the others. Hey, Kathy, can I be straight with you for a second? Please. You know, I like my family. Like, I like them a lot, but I don't spend all my time with them, you know? It's, it's okay 
to spend some time apart. Like, it's normal to be alone. Are you saying we're not normal, Steve? He's just another man too afraid to commit. Oh, no, I, I want to commit. So you just make up immature excuses to break up with anyone who genuinely wants to spend their life with you? Mum warned me about guys like you. She warned us both. Hey, no, look, we had some great times together, didn't we? The three of us hanging out. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh, where'd the time go? Anyway, great to catch up. Oh. This Daryl's worst idea yet. So dumb. Normal dating is hard enough, let alone speed dating. This is stupid. Have you had any luck? No, not really. I feel like there's not enough men my age with my interests within a 300 kilometer radius of here. Totally know what you mean. Totally know what you mean. Oh, I love this song. Really? Yeah. I saw these guys in Tamworth just a couple of weeks ago. Me too. I was I was in the front row. I don't know anyone else who likes these guys. Are you kidding me? I I wrote a review for it. For the paper? For a no no. You know cowboy cowboymusic.com. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote for that. Are you kidding me? You write for cowboymusic.com. Yeah, big time. I read that every day. That's the best. I get yeah. I get passes, double passes, shows Are you everywhere. Me? Yeah yeah. Who do you go with? <laughs> I normally don't get to use the other pass. No one else is into it. Oh, so you have to go by yourself? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. It does, but, oh. you know. Some good shows though, right? So good. I have the best time. Oh my It'd God. be nice to share it with someone, but... Oh, well. Oh. Buzzer. I'll go. Here we go again. Yeah. It's like a desert out there. I know. I'm parched. I know. I'm parched for love. We all are. I'm slowly dying of dehydration. Well, we're not going to get any relief, that's for sure. Put me out of my misery. All right, get a plane to drop some supplies. Yeah, or just drop me off a bloody cliff, because I don't, I don't know what the point is. Oh, the plane picks you up and then takes you off the cliff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm. well, good luck. Thanks, yeah, good luck to you. It's slim pickings out there. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry, it's not you, it's me. I just, I really need to get going. I'm sure you're really nice. Nice? There's nothing worse than being called nice. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's okay, I'm getting used to that response. I bet. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. Well, that would be none of your business. <laughs> I just assumed that you'd... Assumed what? That you were taken. Well, if you must know, I'm in between situations. Seriously, why are you here? Shouldn't you be out looking for new and fun ways to ruin more people's lives? <laughs> it's an interesting strategy. Although, to be honest, I really feel like you're the only one that cares. Bullshit. I wish it wasn't the case. Trust me, I know how much that place means to you. Unless you want a push in the goddamn mush, I'd stop talking right about now. What is so amusing? Push in the mush. It's something my dad used to say. Well, it's new to me. Would you like to get out of here? I was actually already on my way out. I've got some things I need to do at the town hall. You should come. No, I don't think so. Seriously, I really think you'd like to tag along. Couldn't be worse than this place, I suppose. So with equipment this powerful, red skies will be the future of interstellar observation. Better yet, without the costly expense, that is, <laughs> that is siding spring. How powerful is red skies going to be? It will have the capacity to see further than the human race has ever been able to see before. So like, to the edge of the universe? No. Much, much further. Witchcraft. How is that even possible? Uh, you are aware that ours is one of billions of universes. It's called a multiverse. Next thing he's going to say that Pluto isn't even a planet. <laughs> well, it's not. It's a dwarf planet. I believe the PC term is little planet, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Mike, Mr Finch, <laughs> great, so here we can get started. I thought you were coming alone. I was, I was at a networking event and bumped into Miss Mackenzie here. And I insisted on coming along. Right, well, yes, take a seat. Wait, wait, who's this? Is this? Are you the new lunch lady? What happened to Cindy? No, this is Helene. Okay, uh, skinny flat white with one. Actually, make it three. Uh, Phil, this is Helene. She's Cindy's I'm replacement. I'm not Cindy's replacement. I'll have a soy chai latte. Soy chai latte, yeah. Uh, next thing you'll tell us, Phil, that you started doing Bikram yoga. <laughs> what is Bikram yoga? Uh, it's basically yoga, but in a, in a sauna. Are you kidding? Yeah. You never cease to amaze me, soy chai Phil. <laughs> soy chai Phil! Soy chai Phil! Soy chai Phil! I'm not the tea lady. I'm the head scientist at Siding Spring. You know, the observatory you lot are about to close down. Why are we closing them down again? Because they can't see into the many-verse. Uh, multi multiverse. Oh, so you know that there's more than one. Ah, uh, yeah. Miss McKenzie, I'm not sure there's really anything else you can learn by being here. I'm learning heaps. I invited her, she can stay. <laughs> okay, Mike. Then perhaps it's worth mentioning what? one of the many reasons why facilities like Siding Spring are failing. Tourism. What? The failure to attract tourism dollars to the observatory and the town as a whole. So your answer is to close us down and build a new one? It does have a building gift shop. So I'm supposed to stop doing my job and sell novelty mugs and key rings. Oh, I love novelty mugs. Get with the time, Celine. You don't even have a Twitter account. Red Skies already has over 5,000 followers and their Instagram is off the charts. I'll admit we probably need to do more of that sort of stuff, but Instagram? Yeah, but it is pretty important these days. Yeah, you'd be amazed at what people eat for that meal between breakfast and lunch. Brunch. It's called brunch. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Bloody Dr. Seuss over here. <laughs> At it again. You've had your chance, I'm afraid. Out with the old and in with the new. Be nice, Leslie. I am being nice. We just can't let a small group of misfits have a little escapade at the expense of our town. Your father would have been embarrassed. Here's what I know would have embarrassed him. His daughter becoming a glorified gift shop assistant selling telescope shaped lamingtons. Lamingtons? I know you've got Barnum wrapped around your little finger. But if these goons are any indication, then maybe I am fighting a losing battle. If this town isn't interested in fighting for the very thing that defined it, then maybe it's the town that's not worth saving. I think you need to leave. Fine. I was just about to show myself out. Wait, wait, just before you go, can I place an order, please? Oh, me too. I love lamingtons. Yeah, and one for Loz, too. Hey. Are you coming? Mike, I think you should stay. Yeah, I think you should. Hang on a second. It's not supposed to be taking minutes. Mike, fuck off. No, you fuck off. I wasn't trying to embarrass you in there. I was trying to work with you. Up until half an hour ago, you had no idea that this meeting was even happening. And now you have some intel, and you can tell what Leslie is all about. Do you want to know the two reasons I took on this project? What? For the good of astronomy in Australia, and for the good of its brightest spark. Who? Helene McKenzie. Ah, oh, now you're really laying it on thick. I've read your stuff. It's great. I know all about Charon and how it orbits Pluto. That led to some pretty groundbreaking stuff. I only did some preliminary work. I'll know more once New Horizons does its thing. But at least you got the ball rolling, even if it was in small pieces. And what about the sky mapper? Just another soon-to-be useless piece of scrap metal? It'll likely become a landmark. 
a landmark. Look, the telescopes at Red Skies are bigger and stronger, allowing us to see further than ever before. Yeah, but there's so much more to explore within our own solar system. Yeah, but the real discoveries lie billions of light years beyond. Look, I'm trying. Okay. I get it. I'm on your side. Trust me. up here every day since I was a kid. Mum used to hate it. I'd learnt to track the orbit of the moon and the planets by the time I was seven. Wow. Did you know there's a moon over Saturn? <laughs> Named Helene. Yeah. It was discovered the day I was born. Any guesses where I got my name from? You're kidding. Nope. True story. Wow. It's pretty special. Have you seen Helene? It's basically just a rock. Not a very good looking one at that. <laughs> now Titan. Oh, mm. there's a moon. God, what a cliche. Next you'll be telling me you like football and salt vinegar chips. Yep, I do. No wonder you've got a resort to speed dating. I only went there because I knew you'd be there. Oh, you probably only went there because you knew I'd be there. You did? That wasn't that obvious. I tried them all. OK Cupid, eHarmony, Swapsy, my bloody grinder, friender, fucking the uh, matchmaker. <laughs> there, there's not going to be any cutaways here. Do we have to start the whole thing again? Yep. Sorry.